All right, guys, let's get started with our galaxy drawing. Let me remind you again to start off with using pencil always because pencil, you can always erase, but if you're using Sharpie, then you can't. So I'm gonna be mostly working with Sharpie, but I'm gonna be doing pencil too so that I don't mess up. I'm only gonna be doing Sharpie so that you guys can see. All right, to start off with our galaxy, let's, hmm, let's make a little planet right over here. So this is actually pretty free draw because you guys can put your planets wherever you want to put them. So I'm gonna put one over here and this one will have rings. So if you want your planet to have rings, you guys can have rings too. So this is something like Saturn, but you can mimic anything you want. Let me just highlight this with Sharpie. And they should probably be a little bit bumpy because most planets aren't perfect. All right, and I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. All right, so we are done with the first planet. And next, we have to add our rocket. So this, you probably, you guys probably should do um, with me. Let's start off, to make the rocket, let's start off by making a little shape, just like this. Fix that a little. So it's almost like a hmm, curve, but it's a little bit more pointy on this side, like just like that. There's like a point here and then it goes on like a normal curve. And then let's close it up just like this. See how that looks. All right, after we are done with that, let's take this and stretch it out a bit like that. And then make lines just like this. And then make a square right over here. So this is like the basic of our rock, the basics of our rocket. I'm just gonna make a little more compartment over here because a spaceship has a lot of compartments. And next is the entrance. You guys can make your spaceship's entrance hum however you want, but I personally enjoy making them like this. And then there's gonna be fire coming out of there, but we'll work on that later. So we have our rocket, we got a little window here, and we got like all those buttons and stuff for like the rocket, but um, I'm gonna be add adding that later. And I'm also gonna be adding a name to my rocket. I'm gonna be calling it the Cherry Berry 2000. I'm gonna be doing this in pencil. Cherry Berry 2000. So you can call your um, airplane anything you want, but I'm going to be calling it Cherry Berry 2000. All right, so now the next thing that we are going to be doing is making more planets. I'm going to be making a planet on this edge and one right over here. This one's going to be big. I want this one to have craters. I, I, I love planets with craters. I think they look really cute. This one almost looks like the moon. All right, so we are done with this part. This actually, I don't really like the craters, but that's all right, it'll work out. And this planet, I am going to be making it. Hmm, I think I'll just make rings for this one too. All right, so now we have a lot of our planets done. And then the, now the next thing that we need to do it's add some meteors. I was thinking we could add some meteors coming from this side because it would look a little bit weird if they were all coming from this side. So first of all, I'm gonna make three lines that almost make a, if you would join them, it would almost make a trapezoid, just like this. And then after that, <clears throat> making a very uh, weird circle. Maybe putting some white dots in it. Just like that. And there is a meteor. Or I think it could be an asteroid too. I think it's a bit too small for an asteroid though. So I'm just going to say it's a meteor. And then I'm going to make another one. 
except this time it's coming this way. So same process, except I'm just doing it backward. All right, so we are done with that. And I am also going to be adding a little astronaut right over here because it seems like I have a lot of empty space. <sighs> How do we want the astronaut to look? I'm not, I'm gonna make it like extremely basic because I don't wanna ruin this drawing. So we are going to making an astronaut like you, like you would make a real person. I feel that um, the astronaut should probably not have a face. I think it would look a lot more realistic if it didn't have a face. So I'm going to be making just a little hole here. And then I'm gonna be calling this black in the inside. So let me do that already. And then let's make another, make some hands. And then a shirt and then some pants. I'm gonna be showing his whole body. So that's done and let's just make some eyes for the astronaut. Not eyes, sorry, hands. This, this hand is just gonna be there. And then the other hand, really should have used a thinner marker for this. Other hand, one. And the astronaut is going to be saying hi with the other hand. Waving, sorry. And then I'm gonna be making some buttons here later, but you'll see that when it's all colored. Okay. So I think this is it, but there's one thing that we're missing that is like such an important part of space. What do you think it is? Did you say stars? Because yes, we are missing these stars. I'm going to be making my stars with pencil because I actually like to make my stars the curly way, or not the curly way, sorry, like the way that they all crisscross, but that wouldn't look really nice in the paint, um, in the picture. So I'm gonna be making a normal star here, as you can see, and then I'm gonna be erasing all the lights in the middle, like so. So I've erased all the lines in the middle, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to be going over the Sharpie. Just like this. So now it's a star and I'm going to be doing this a few more times. And if you don't know how to make a star, you could just make like an asterisk and that would look pretty much like a star. Or you could just make dots in the sky and that would, I guess that would go off as a star. And you don't even have to follow the exact way that it's made. You can make it a little bit bigger. Because I think I made mine a bit too small. Obviously, space doesn't really have stars like that. But, you know, that, that just looks really nice for the picture. So. Okay. Oh, God, I messed up a bit over there. That's all right. Um, stars don't need to look perfect. Oops, okay, uh, oh gosh, I made a little mark over there. I can fix that, improvising. All right, so now we have our stars, and I'm just gonna be writing Cherry Berry here, so. Chair, bear. I'm just gonna call it Chair Bear because I really don't have that much space. Or you know what, if you really wanted to, I would just shut this whole thing up because I kind of messed up over there. And when I mess up, I either turn it into something else or I covered it up and make it look like something else because I think that actually helps a lot. And sometimes it actually adds to your picture in ways you didn't think it could. So here, we have two of these over here and this actually looks pretty good. I like it. Um, yeah, I guess right now we are done with this. We can always add some extra features, like maybe adding like a little few of those land thingies over there. Because remember, these are like completely alien planets. They don't have to look real at all. So I just added some of those on there. And right now, I guess I am done with this picture. I have to color it. Um, 
I'm not going to be showing the full video of how to color it because I want you guys to use your imagination and not completely follow me while coloring. So I will be back in three, two, one. This is the final result of the galaxy drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to Cherry Berry. Thank you for watching. Bye.